Hola amigos, welcome to the second part of the video. I hope you enjoyed the first part. In this video, I have completed the repair process and I will show you the final trial of the product. Now we will give DC supply to the board. This is the positive and this is the negative and these are the common terminals. So we will give the negative here. Here. Now we will add the control card. Careful with that. Now I touch the display. Now we are ready to rock. Now we will gradually increase the DC supply. See, the SMPS is making this noise. That is the issues. It is showing low voltage even when I have given full voltage. Now we will press the reset button. Let's check the DC voltage. It should be sufficient, but it is showing low voltage. That is the issue. The DC is 526 voltage, but it is showing low voltage. Let's try rebooting first. So now the display is not coming again. Now we will reduce the supply. In low voltage the display is coming, in high voltage not coming. That is erratic behavior. Okay? Okay. Now we have completed the repair process. Now we will test the drive. First in low voltage, then in high voltage. Now it is in low voltage. Let's turn on. It's showing LV, low voltage. Now we will increase the voltage. It's ready. The relay is turned on. Now we will turn it off. Now we will switch it on directly. See 440 volt and ready. Now the drive is ready. Now we will have to do the control connection and test it on run mode. So this is the control connection. This command S1 will be the run command. Now we have connected the control wiring. Start command. Now we will turn it on. It is showing ready. Now let's give the run command. The drive is in run command. Run mode. See? Stop run. Okay, now let's check the output voltage. We turn the meter to 
AC and this is UVW 140 volt 140 140 balance now we will increase the speed to full maximum now it is 50 hertz now 380 380 380 so that drive is ready guys now we will turn it off and assemble the drive then test it again. so guys as you can see i have resoldered the capacitor bank now we will assemble the drive so first of all we have to clean this old coat of heat sink it is very important guys it will transfer the heat so first let's clear the old coat see it is tough so use a little bit of thickener or petrol to clean this see Then we will apply a fresh coat of anabond heat sink compound. This is the best in the industry. Not very much, but even coat. A thin layer of coating is enough. Don't apply too much, that is of no use. You should spread it evenly. Okay. Now insert the connectors. I hope you can see it. Put the stud. The heat sink screw should be fully tight. Otherwise, the heat may not transfer completely and it will blast or trip in overheat. Now we will tighten the struts. Now we are almost done. Remove the display. Like this. Add the screen. This looks like a bit of servo drive, but it is a VMD. Normal AC drive. Now we will put the cover. Just slide it down. Perfect. Now guys, we will attach the display. Now we will put the supply. So guys, now I have completed the assembling of the drive. It is fully assembled. 
Now I have connected the AC supply, the motor supply, and here is the motor race. Okay, now let's power it on. First in low voltage. It is showing low voltage. Now we will increase the supply. It's ready. So guys, now let's check the input voltage. As you can see, it is 390 voltage, which is perfect. Now let's give the run command. First, let me decrease the speed. Now we will give the run command. I will show you the bulb output bulb. Let me dim the brightness. See. The VFD is in torque mode, so I can't give it a run it on motor because I am not able to get the manual in English. I virtual which I have is in Chinese. The drive is now completely ready for dispatch. So guys, that's all for today. Hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. A like would be appreciated.